Welcome to the second session based on the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. In the first session, we showed you how to install the IB Expert demo database, available in the full, trial and personal IB Expert versions. If you haven't already installed this, we strongly recommend you take a quick look at the previous tutorial and install the demo database. This way, you can follow the examples in this second tutorial, SQL Basics Part 1. Okay, now let's take a look at simple select commands. Using a small group of commands, you can perform pretty well any data manipulation theoretically necessary in an SQL database. Select star from a table is the most basic select statement. Let's take an example using our demo database and enter the query in the IB Expert SQL editor on the edit page. If we want a list of all information in the product table, type select star from product. You will notice how IB Expert aids you when typing your database object name. When you enter PR, the IB Expert code completion offers you a selection of all objects beginning with PR. And when the key combination Alt, Control and T is used, IB Expert offers a list of all tables beginning with PR. If you've entered the object name correctly, for example the product table, IB Expert changes the text format, font color and underlined, if it recognizes the object, so you know immediately whether you have made a typing error, as a no change to text appearance, or not. So to run this query, or rather execute it, I simply press the F9 key or the green arrow icon. I can see all data in all columns in this product table and execute them using the green arrow or F9. The wildcard gives me everything. So this query is going to give me everything from products. And it also provides a piece of information at the bottom about how it got that result. On the results page, I can see all the resulting data. If I wish, I can specify a separate results page using the IB Expert Options menu under Environment Options, SQL Editor, Separate Results Page. If you wish to make your query more selective, you can specify which information you wish to see instead of all of it. For example, just the DVD title and the leading actor of all products. Type select title, comma, actor from product. When you're writing a select, it can become very tiresome repeatedly writing out the full names of commonly used objects correctly. It's helpful to abbreviate such objects, also reducing the amount of frequent typing errors. This is possible by defining a so-called alias. For example, if you wish to define an alias for the product table, type select from product P. That way, the server knows that whenever you type a P in this SQL, you are referring to the product table. IB Expert also recognizes the P as an alias and automatically offers me a list of all fields in the product table. By holding down the control key, multiple fields can be selected. For example here, title and price. And by pressing the enter key, both fields are automatically inserted into the SQL with the alias prefix P. Now adding a WHERE clause. It is possible to set conditions on the information you want to see by adding a WHERE clause. For example, where P.CategoryID equals 1. And if you only wish to see certain columns in the results sets, select P.Title, P.Price, P.Category, from Product P, where P.CategoryID equals 1. Selects can of course get a lot more complicated than this. 
It's important to try and keep it as simple as possible, though. Because it's a mathematical notation, a complex SQL may look correct, but if you are not careful, you will get results that you did not really want. When you're working with millions of data sets, you can't necessarily assess the values in the resulting statistical data. So it's vital you're sure there are no mistakes or logical errors in your query. Build your statements up gradually, checking each stage. This is easy in the IB Expert SQL editor, as you can execute query parts by simply marking the segment you wish to test, and then execute. Only if no query areas are selected does the SQL editor execute the whole statement. It is, of course, possible to specify more than one condition. For example, select star from product where special equals one and category ID equals two. Let's move on to containing. Select star from product where title containing Halloween. This will supply all films with the word Halloween somewhere in the title. Containing is case insensitive and never uses an index as it searches for a string contained somewhere in the field, not necessarily at the beginning. Order by. If you need your results in a f certain format, you can specify that the results be ordered alphabetically or numerically by a certain field. For example, order by price in ascending order, lowest first, highest last. Select star from product, order by price. The ascending order is the so-called default. That means it is not necessary to specify it specifically. However, if you wish to specify a descending order, this needs to be explicitly specified. Select star from product, order by price, desk. So, that's your basic single table SQL. We'll continue with some more operators in part three of our tutorial series, Fiber Developer Training SQL Basics Part Two. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. You can also refer to the IB Expert online documentation. Fiber development using IB Expert at www.ibexpert.com. Goodbye for now from all of us at IB Expert.